All right, welcome back to another episode with Sharp Education. Today, we're going to be building on logistic regression. If you're interested in going the quantitative finance route and you eventually have maybe an interview, you could just have this and say, okay, well, look, logistic regression. But a really good understanding of it will teach you how to use logistic regression into much in much more advanced strategies that you might come up with that I haven't even thought about. So today, we're going to be talking about what logistic regression is even doing. How does it make a one or a zero? That is through a function called sigmoid. The sigmoid function is one of my favorites, and I know it's weird to have a favorite function, but this one is elegant. It looks like this. So it's one divided by one plus Euler's number to the power of negative x. And what that does is it compresses any output or any input to this function between zero and one. So let's define sigmoid. So what's going to happen is we're going to be multiplying our features values by their correlation coefficients. We're going to be adding the coefficient. We're going to be adding the constant to the product of all of those features and their coefficients. And then we're going to be inputting that result into the sigmoid function. The sigmoid function is going to return this value here with the really weak indicators we're using, like uh, MACD, MFI, Bollinger Bands. We've already seen that with, logist with our linear regression outputs, they're not super strong indicators. Same thing goes for logistic regression, even predicting up or down. I know this is, again, not the most exciting content, but it is important. And if you understand it, and if it's still engaging to you, if you like it, you're in the right place. This is the type of knowledge that you need to have a competitive approach to trading. Until next time, stay sharp.